Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, the third card so the, uh, of my Be Merry 365 to Go class July 2020. Uh, we are using the Peaceful Bows stamp set and uh, I die cut uh, supplies using the, be the Beautiful Bows dies. Um, on here I only needed uh, one um, this the, the larger of the well the second largest of the bows and and one of the tags the um, the swirly circle is from poppy moment a uh, poppy labels dies and then that's the largest of the um, layering circles so this is the card it's a fun fold and now I'm going to show you how to do it the card base is a brand new in color just jade it's really nice it's a really nice green and it goes well with other greens that we have so um, let's do the stamping first we have this and we have the inside i want this to put to the side so this is uh, Just Jade, our new green. Season's greetings. All right. That's that's it for the stamping part. We'll close up the ink. And uh, now we can just attach the uh, inside panel. And you probably wonder how this card is going to work. Well, I'll show you. This is a mini card. You probably think this is a mini card. It is a, a small card. It's a card for those who don't want to write lots. Or you can still attach something uh, a note to the inside. We might as well attach the um, um, DSB. The DSB is from the Flower for Every Season 6x6. The brand new um, in color um, DSP pack and it's got flowers, flowers for all seasons and I really liked what I've seen here. So that's this. And then we this is our card base, two pieces. So a quarter of a quarter of a sheet of uh, eight and a half by eleven is the base. Layer one is four by five and a quarter, and it's mint macaron. And the base layer is just jade. As I said, our new in color. And then all you do is so this is um, this is eight and a half by three and a quarter, and the inside is three by four. Okay, the eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. All right, so I just um, kind of eyeballed it uh, wherever I felt like it needed to go. I didn't want it too far over, but you wanna make sure it's it's on there and fixed to this. So we're almost halfway there. Next step is attaching the swirly circle to our die cut uh, layering circle. The swirly circle die is a carryover from our mini catalog. It came with the poppy suite. So this goes like that. 
and then just for good measure I added uh, a little piece of um, just to add some interest uh, I added this vellum piece and the swirly circle you'll see this on cards that I make a lot because I think it's a uh, it's a good um, it's a good idea to to use that it just brings um, brings added interest so now this needs to be just attached to half the card so turn it around and only attach um, uh, apply glue on the one side here and then make sure Make sure you don't glue it to your back. Okay. And, wow, well, we're almost done here. We just need dimensionals for this. So I challenge you all to... Uh, Make a card that has the same layout. Maybe uh, it doesn't have to be a, a Christmas card, but uh, use my layout and uh, and create your own uh, birthday card or whatever you want. You know. Um, again, uh, remember I told you earlier I don't like the hole on here, so I'm just gonna cover it with this. It's a retired. Um, uh, faceted gem um, and I thought this is uh, this looks good on there and then here I we have a ribbon combo pack and it's called it's called the forever forever greenery trim combo pack it's got really nice uh, uh, vanilla uh, ribbon and and it's got this gold trim in there and the, see what, what happens to it. You can uh, open it up like it's uh, un undo it and it's gonna be really nice. So I'm just gonna roll a glue dot, roll it up a bit, pick it up and stick it on the end here. And then I will attach my gold trim and you see it comes apart it totally comes apart so you can obviously uh, shorten it which I will do but it's it's awesome so don't play too much with it because it will fall apart on you it will un it will unravel and there you go you got your fun fold Christmas card so challenge uh, Make uh, one of your own with you. Use what you have. It's very, very easy to make this card. Thank you for watching.